Welcome to Showcase Richmond, I'm Matt DiNardo. 30 years ago, the curtains opened up on Spark, the School of Performing Arts in the Richmond community. Since then, it's been setting the stage for life for children and teens with core training programs, outreach programs, playwriting competition in high schools, and summer programs. And Spark is our spotlight for our good news segment by Care Advantage, changing our community one charity at a time. Care Advantage means that, that, that I can face each day with a positive. You don't have to go to bed at night wondering, I'm going to get through tomorrow, because you already know they will be here to help you get through that day. They care about the people they're helping. They're special. Don't do it alone. Call Care Advantage and find the peace of mind you've been searching for. And with us now is Ryan Ripperton, the Executive Director for Spark. Welcome, Ryan. This year, 30-year anniversary, it's been a huge year for Spark. It has. Uh, we've had a wonderful year celebrating our 30th anniversary. We were founded in 1981, and over the course of that 30 years, we've impacted 10,000 students here in the Richmond region. That is incredible. What is the mission for Spark, and what do you mean when we say setting the stage for life? Sure. The mission of Spark is to inspire young people to reach their full potential through quality training in the performing arts. So we do performing arts education after school and on weekends for youth throughout the Richmond region. But we recognize with setting the stage for life that that is reflecting that these are skills that transfer outside of the performing arts. It's not just about singing, dancing, and acting. It's confidence, the ability to speak in public, and receive and give constructive criticism. We're looking at some of the pictures here from the gala event that you had, and as we continue to talk about that, you said some of the skills you can use outside. We talked about that. It may be as simple as public speaking because, as you said, kids go up in front of thousands of people and they learn to get over that stage fright. Absolutely. At our performance, uh, as just one example, at our performance in Carpenter Theater on June 25th, young people as young as five years old walked out on stage and saw a thousand smiling faces looking back at them. And that's a life-changing opportunity for them. It's not necessarily that they're going to go on to Broadway. It's that they're going to be able to use that skill to be confident in the boardroom or in a court of law or as a teacher in whatever field that they choose. Let's talk about what's coming up ahead here. Let's look at the fall schedule. What's on tap? Absolutely. We are um, undertaking a, a, a great experience of our fall class offerings, uh, including both age ranges and uh, locations. We're expanding, expanding our age range to include toddlers uh, mm -hmm. this year, so we really have um, uh, uh, performing arts classes for uh, students really of any age and at right. any stage of their interest in the performing arts. What is your role in the community? I mean, how do you see yourself fitting in so well? Sure, absolutely. We, we view our role as the impact that we make with our students. And so in addition to our, our core uh, offerings, our enrollment-based offerings, we also uh, have extensive outreach programs. We're within 26 schools and neighborhood centers around the region providing free performing arts education for students in their own backyard. So you're in 26 schools, but, but how do you really interact with the schools? Absolutely. We, we work with um, the uh, administration and the teachers to craft lesson plans that use the performing arts to help to fulfill the SOL standards and specifically the oral language standards that get at those lessons in confidence and the ability to speak in public. So again, setting the stage for life, you're actually helping the teachers in the classroom with the SOLs because of the oral skills. That's right, absolutely. Well, that's really amazing. Now, you said you're going to take on for the first time toddlers. How do uh, toddlers, get, I mean, what can they do? What do you, I mean, a little play, like I'm a buttercup kind of a thing? Right, well, it's, it's about movement uh -huh. and music and understanding the relationship between those things. So we're, we're expanding our classes to be able to just do beginning movement so young students can get out and, and move and start to experience the performing arts. And even through a partnership, we have classes in music for parents and students together to be able to experience music all the way down to infancy. Perfect. Let's talk about Spark and here's some information that you need to know so you can get in touch with Spark. It's real simple. It's sparkonline.org or 804-353-3393. And of course, they're brought to us by our good friends, careadvantageinc.com. You can find Care Advantage on Facebook. Ryan, thank you so much for joining us and good luck as you continue your 30th year. Thank you very much.